Hello, through the meerkat here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Burn House Lane. This doesn't have the cat this time. I'm not sure why. It did go meow. Oh, so that's good. That's so cute. Really, they are. Yeah, I'm going to have to shoot this guy, aren't I? Alright. Not particularly looking forward to this. Probably going to take me more than one try. Okay, this is probably not good. Oh, are you a zombie here? Oh. Are uh, you completely separate? have forgotten how to it might not be possible for me to um all right i'm gonna hope that's him it might not be possible for me to run and then dodge <coughs> ah okay Alright, well, I will see you in a minute when it's possible for me to do this. Good, because... I was going to run out. Anyway, yes, I like the zombie apocalypse thing going on here, but... I'm going to have to hope we get more shotgun shells, because I am going to have to beat this boss. Presumably, you. I don't know how to defeat you. At least you don't have the same trouble shotgun on you. What? Get the hell out of my way, you stupid! Don't say that to Midge. Oh, that's not Midge. The cat disguised as Midge. And as the wolf opened his jaws to swallow the lamb, he found there was already an even bigger wolf hidden inside the lamb. The tables turn quickly if you're not careful. And when you live a wolf's life, you've got to know there is a price for each drop of blood that you spill. Sooner or later, you'll have to pay it. Thank you, Angeline. This is the man I wanted. Your first task is completed. It's time to end it. Unless... Well... You have his gun. And a first-hand experience of being his victim. Perhaps this kill belongs to you. I'll let you choose. Well, I'm not sure I really do have his gun. 
I don't think it actually makes a difference which one of us kills him, but anyway, I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo. Then I'll do it for you. Why did you disguise as Midge? That was a fairly nice hard in chapter one. Not impossible, just harder. Here we are. You can stay on the farm until you get your strength back. Don't think the owner will mind. You won't even know I'm here. I need a quiet place to rest for a bit. I'm so tired. I know. You'll sleep soon. But take a bath first. Use the guest bathroom, just past the staircase, and in the meantime, I'll find something for you to wear and I'll bring it over. Oh, and... Uh... Can you please make me a nice big cup of coffee? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, five sugars, please. Five? Okay. Just go and wash that blood off you already. One last thing, Angie. Yeah? What the hell is this dreadful thing on the table? I think it might be yesterday's dinner. This frozen lump of flesh? Yep. Well, no offense, but it doesn't look very appetizing, does it? This guy, Kieran, offered to make roast lamb yesterday. But I guess he fucked up. No shit. Never mind. At least now I know I can't rely on that lazy booger. Right. Uh, I'll go wash now. Pass the stairs. Last door. You can't miss it. Of course, it could be a meteorite that crashed here. Although, I would have thought there'd be a hole in the ceiling if that was true. Uh, honestly, I can't be responsible for what five sugars will do to your teeth. simulator. I thought I did. Evidently I didn't. So what? I do that on here. I'm not used to using a non-electric kettle. Just leave it there. Well, I guess I've done all the things I was supposed to do. I would have thought that a day has passed, so I would have gotten my being able to learn the truth back, but I don't know. I suppose that's a good. Would you come closer, please? and see how Jaws is doing. I could be losing my mind, but did I just see a naked lady run past here a minute ago? Mm. 
That's Jenny. Don't worry about her. She needed a place to stay for a few days, and I've offered to help. Is that all right with you? Oh, that's fine with me. Just ask her to put some clothes on. You know, in case that vicar comes round again. Um, yeah, I don't think the vicar would actually be particularly disappointed to, um see her naked but um he's not really gonna get the chance to see anyone naked now speaking of clothes do we have anything we could give her well i uh, i don't know much about ladies garments dear it's all right i can give her some of mine wait i uh, i still have some clothes that belong to my wife it's a uh, Skirt and a blouse, I believe. I kept them because they were her favourite. They're in a suitcase upstairs. You sure you don't mind letting a stranger wear it? Penny uh, always had a heart of gold. She wouldn't think twice about lending her clothes to a stranger in need. Well, I'm sure of that. In that case, okay, I'll go look for it. Oh, uh, before you go, dear. Any chance of another sandwich? Well, we waited and waited yesterday, but that roast lamb never came. Mm. Huh, I wonder why. But sure, I'll make you a sandwich in a minute. Generally, I tend to find that the lamb doesn't, the roast lamb doesn't come on its own. It being dead is uh, is one possible reason why. Um, hmm. Good. Good. Fast eater, but still good. Um. Your coffee's in the kitchen. I'm just letting you know. Nice. Thank you. I won't be long. idea to save every once in a while. I don't have to want to have to do the zombie stuff then. Hey, Jenny. I found some clothes that should fit you. I'll leave them here on the floor, just outside the bathroom. Thanks! I'll be out in a minute! Am 
Well, before we do that, I'm gonna save again. I don't know what it is. It seems to me like it would be a good idea to save before I do it. I'm hoping that it's just another task I've been given. It does kind of sound like cat, so... Well, aren't you a cutie? Living on Burn House Lane, of all places. This doesn't seem like the right home for a beautiful cat like you. Want to come with me? Oh, okay. So can I bring the cat back? But presumably the cat follows me around now. This is different to how Burn House Lane was before. Let's see, even she's noticed it. Big fan of creepy dolls. And this is very suddenly like a fight. Until I fell down. Meet little Sheila. She's been stuck in this hole for a while. Who's done this to her? A psychopath called Walter Green. Who lives in the woods, not far from the farm. Walter likes to trap people, hunt them down like animals. Sometimes just to slowly watch them die, but mostly to skin them alive as a sacrifice to the devil. What do you want me to do? Find Sheila and get her out of there. But do it soon. The sun sets down fast this time of year. You only have till midnight. And at night, these woods are dark. Okay. Hmm. Awful lot of evil people who want to kill others in a sadistic way living around this farm, isn't there? This is unfortunate because it looks like it's already starting to get dark. I am glad I have a torch. Oh, now it's it's not that bad. Looking out the window. I don't know how presumably I'd have to go back to the car to um You're awake. What what do you mean? I wasn't sleeping. There you are. Liar. Could give them a cupcake, but considering where it came from, I'm not. Did you see a young woman? Blonde? 
late twenties. You mean Jenny? Yes. yes. She's lovely, isn't she? Where is she? Where is she? Uh, the last I saw her, she was talking to George. Right. Thanks. Is there a forest near the farm? Why are you asking? Well, I just feel like taking a walk in the woods. I want to get some fresh air, you know? You don't want to go to that forest. I mean, this is the good old countryside. There's fresh air everywhere. Maybe I like to look at the trees. Just tell me, how do I get there? Well, if you really must. There's a path leading to it in the east yard, near my caravan. I'll be there all day. Come over, and I'll show you. But you shouldn't go there alone. Why not? I hear stories about things happening in these woods. Bad things. Horrible things. Thanks for your concern, but I can take care of myself. Mm -hmm. Do you want a cupcake? <laughs> Do I look like the kind of guy who'd say no to a cupcake? In that case... Here, it's all yours. Cheers, nurse. I will remember this. What's that rose slam you promised us, hmm? Well, where's the wine? You went to get it, and you never came back. I was... Ugh. It's a long story. But now that I think about it, you don't actually need red wine to make rose slam. You just stick the damn thing in the oven. It's that simple. Well, not the way I cook it. And what is your way to cook it? Let me guess. Getting pissed on George's sherry and falling asleep? I guess it's better you never actually started it because you'd probably just burn the whole place down if you did, you drunken fool. Alright. Hey! This is not the way I wanted this conversation to go. That was George's idea to open that bottle. Yeah, I won't. I'll show off any dialogue that... Um... Thanks for your concern, but I can take care of myself. See you later. And don't do anything stupid. Me? Never. That's better. No need to call the guy a drunken fool. Wow. This seems like a good time to end the episode. I will see you next time.